Hello Explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another exciting and informative video on our YouTube channel. If you are joining us for the first time, I want to thank you for watching. In today's episode, we are looking at why do so many countries around the world, military powerhouse, have their bases in the country of Djibouti. In this episode, we shall be able to unveil lots of information, so we encourage you to watch this video to the end. So without any more delay, let's just dive straight into it. The Republic of Djibouti is located on the African shore of the Red Sea, at the southern entrance of this important waterway that passes through the Suez Canal. In Egypt, Djibouti is a country of modest size but big geopolitical significance, especially when its proximity to Sudan, South Sudan, Kenya and Uganda is considered. Moreover, it is part of the greatest geopolitical configuration as a member of the Intergovernmental Authority for Development, known as IGAD, the eight country trade bloc on the Horn of Africa. Moving forward, Djibouti has a singular strategic dimension with obvious interest to the United States of America. It controls with Yemen, the Strait of Bats el Madib, the minimum width of which is about 30 kilometers and through which passes 10% of the total world trade. Nearly 19,000 ships used this trade in 2020 based on information. The Bab el Madib overlooks the entrance to the Gulf of Aden and the Indian Ocean. Not far away, two other gulfs that of the Oman and its Arab Persian counterpart, linked by another Strait of Hamuz. This geographical advantage explains why so many international powers have installed military bases in Djibouti. France, a colonial power that remains influential, and the United States of America gained a foothold there in 2002, followed by Japan in 2011, then Italy in 2012. The latest arrival, right on its sixth road, is China which obtained its base in 2017. With lots, we can't also forget to the list of European Union anti-piracy operations, the Atalanta, which has been in the place since 2008, or the German, Spanish, the Dutch soldiers to whom Djibouti soil is not unknown. Saudi Arabia has a presence, and Russia and India are rumored to be eyeing bases of their own. Looking at this, for Japan and China, the military installations here are the first overseas bases, while for the United States of America, it is the country's only permanent military base on the African continent. These bases are all sources of rent and other income for the local market, rental housing, commercial purchases, and so on. The total annual amount of base rents varies, a sign of insufficient transparency, but it is estimated to be no less than over 120 million US dollars. As one might imagine, Djibouti's strategic position attracts not only military bases but also the attention of certain economic operators, those seduced by the port prospects of the country, which has become the main corridor for Ethiopian traffic since the Ethiopian Eritrean War of 1998. Dubai Port International, renamed Djibouti's port well, forged links uh, Ismail Oman Gulu, and in 2000, was entrusted with the management of the country's only international port and airport. From this partnership, two new ports were born. In Dorele, on the outskirts of the capital, Djibouti Ville, there is now a container terminal and an oil terminal. There is also a dry port close to the old port of the Djibouti, near the presidential palace. Another partnership has followed, this time with China, which has been generous in making non-concessional loans to the Djibouti government. Port development, including the multi purpose port at Derole to replace the old port, the reconstruction of the Djibouti portion of the railway connecting the capital to its Ethiopian counterpart, Addis Ababa, and the drinking water supply system from Ethiopian territory, and the main project that have emerged with Chinese blessings. Djibouti also owes China Exim Bank around 1.5 billion US dollars. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos with your different network. But the question here arises is the battle and influence for Djibouti. Who controls this African nation? If you consider this, since the turn of the century, 
A new competition has developed for local loyalties in Djibouti from China, which increasingly building its relationship across the African continent. As of 2017, China's People's Liberation Army opened its first overseas base in Djibouti. This great concrete complex sits on the prime location next to the one Djibouti's main port and is just about 15 minutes drive from the United States military base. One US AFRICOM official once stated that the physical presence of uh, China's presence in Africa is becoming long-term strategic concern for the United States of America. China have upped their game in the plan language and also ultimately they have offerings things that our partners want that talking about some African countries that African partners in place were to concern with being outcompeted. So to point out, Chinese President Xi Jinping made it clear that a high-level summit in Beijing that was scheduled and also moving forward to enhance China's presence in the area. Comprehensive strategic and corporate partnership with Africa is very paramount. It includes over 60 billion US dollars package at the time, investments, loans, and also other countries moving forward in several cooperative agreements with China. For years, China has been expanding its military ties in Africa through extended peacekeeping missions, military personnel training, and China African Peace and Security Initiative Forum. China's foreign ministry spokesperson always mentioned this. Djibouti base was part of the ongoing effort to help bring peace and security to the African region. This added that base will help China fulfill its international obligations and promote economic and social development in Djibouti. But the question here also is, the US naturally views Chinese presence in Djibouti and the military base with unease. Given its proximity to Kam Lemonier and Djibouti's main container port, which is primarily source of supplies to sustain US over 4,000 US troop personnel based in this particular region. 98% of the logistics support for Djibouti as well as Somalia and East Africa come through the port. Therefore, access is essential and its loose will be a disadvantage blow to the United States in aspect in terms of their operations within the African region. There is growing resentment and also um, lack of trust between the United States and uh, China and Djibouti. If you consider that China has been operating in Africa for the better part of the two decades, now has been doing it so in very smart way, with really close network and connections that have been in works for several years. The United States view China's investments program as a fund for a more insane motive to establishment of military footprints worldwide. If you consider this particular aspect, you will notice that the country of Djibouti is just a strategic country and its location, as we've pointed out, is just so important. That's the reason why there are so many countries around the world just are positioning themselves to secure a piece of this African nation and to make sure that Djibouti not just become a strategic location but becomes a, actually an international military presence around the world. Let us know what you think with regards to the international military bases that are in this African nation of Djibouti and let us know if your country is one of those countries that have military bases here. If you are from Djibouti, we would like to know from you and what are the experiences living in this country of Africa and why do you think with regards to this military presence, especially China and the United States. I want to thank you for watching. We're looking forward to meeting you in our next episode. If you are new to this channel, we encourage you to check some of our informative video and we're looking forward to meeting you in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.